guys. So, as you know, I don't often ask for likes and shares on my videos. Um, I don't think I ever ask for likes and shares on my videos. It's not a job for me. It's This isn't my career. This is something that I do for a hobby. Um, this is something that I do to keep me sane. I have a child with additional needs and medical conditions and different things work for different people. Sitting here and talking to a screen works for me. You know, I'm a bit weird like that, but it works. So I don't ask really for likes and shares um, on my videos, but I am going to ask for likes and shares on this one because it's important and the word needs to get out. Now, anybody that's seen my first DKMS video, it's actually my highest um, viewed video. I think I have like a thousand views on that video. Um, so it's obviously something that people are interested in and want to know about. This is the blood stem cell donation process. I am registered as a donor. I've been giving blood for years and it's never been an issue for me to give blood. I'm not afraid of needles, any of that jazz. And I feel that with the medical conditions that my son has, um, giving blood and giving bone marrow is kind of just giving a little bit back to those people that have helped him over the years. And there are some absolute angels, I'm not going to lie, that have helped my son over the years. So doing this is kind of giving something back. Now, anybody interested um, in donating blood cells, bone marrow, it's the same thing. Um, you need to go on the DKMS website. The reason that I'm doing this video now is because I've had an email from the CEO of the DKMS. Um, and I'll just pull that up for you. Um, and explain more. This can probably explain the reason behind this video better than what I can. So it says, Dear Joanne, which of course is me, uh, I hope this email finds you safe and well. Even though the pandemic, which is the coronavirus that we're going through at the moment, even though the pandemic restrictions are beginning to ease and we're resuming some aspects of normal life, people continue to be diagnosed with blood cancer unless they find a matching stem cell donor. So I'm asking you for your help to raise more awareness about this while I have a platform. You know, it's not the biggest platform in the world, but I've got a platform. So I'm gonna use this to raise awareness. Who wouldn't in my position? When I emailed you at the start of lockdown in March, we saw an incredible surge of people spreading the word about DKMS and thousands signed up to the UK blood stem cell register as a result. For that, I cannot express my gratitude enough and gave hope at a time when it was so needed. Since then, however, the number of people joining the register has fluctuated and we're bracing ourselves for another decline in the number of people signing up to the potential lifesavers as lockdown ends. Yet the need for blood stem cell donors did not slow down for COVID-19 and it certainly does not stop now. In fact, we're experiencing an increase in the numbers of patients needing our support in the coming months as our clinicians tell us that transplants that had to be deferred or postponed due to the pandemic can now go ahead. We're always working to raise awareness of blood cancer and blood disorders and the importance of registering as a blood stem cell donor, but undoubtedly our biggest asset in doing this is you. Simply by forwarding this email or sharing information on social media or telling your relatives or friends, you can help give someone a second chance of life. And then it says, thank you. Jonathan Pierce is the CEO of DKMS. And then it says underneath, P.S. We've noticed an increase in the number of people re-registering to DKMS recently. Whilst it's great to have such support, we just wanted to remind you that once you're signed up, you don't need to register again. Your details, If your details have changed, you can then update them. And then it's got a link to update your details. So the DKMS process, I wanted to talk you through it. Um, it's longer than giving blood uh, and it's more complicated than giving blood. So step one, you have your preliminary tests. They'll take bloods. Um, I think over the whole process, they take multiple blood work from you. Um, then you would complete a physical. They would do an X-ray. They would do an ECG. They need to make sure that your blood stem cells are the best possible blood stem cells for the donor that you've been matched with. Um, then you would be on step three, which is where they give you injections. I think it's over a three day period. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, they give you injections of phil philagrestrin. 
um, which stimulates the stem cells to grow. And I've got here on my little pad plus three days. So yes, that will be over a three day period. Step four is your donation day and the donation takes hours. So you need to make, a, a, you know, make provisions for a full day of it. This is so important to me. This is incredibly important to me. I have so much respect for people that, that do this. Obviously, I have a child with additional needs. He has had many, many medical procedures over the years. And I have so much admiration for, for any person um, working in the medical field because the responsibilities and, and the things that they achieve with people is incredible. Um, so, yeah, this is just my update, really, just to give you a little heads up that please don't forget about DKMS. It's so, so, so important. There are people dying because there's not enough donors out there. And it's probably a day out of your life. The actual donation process, they put a needle in your arm that takes the blood out. The blood then goes into a centrifuge where they separate it into the blood stem cells. Um, I think there's a needle in both arms. Um, but yeah, it then goes into a centrifuge and they separate it for the blood stem cells. It's a day out of your life. You get injections for three days previous. Um, the side effects of the injections I've heard are that you get achy bones and and things like that. Again, it's nothing compared to the fact that you would be saving somebody's life. Um, you can't even put any sort of time scale or any sort of effort on that. You know, you're, you're saving someone's life. <laughs> So, yeah, I will um, I'll link the video down below of the first video that I did that has the whole process where you order the kit, the DKMS kit. You get the swabs, you get two mouth swabs, three mouth swabs, sorry, um, in the kit. You run them around your mouth, you put them back in the kit, you send it off. Uh, and then they send you a plastic card, like a little plastic credit card type thing with your DKMS um, registered donor number on. Uh and, and they basically say thank you and they email you quite regularly with updates and, and things. Um, I may never get a call. I may never be a donor. I may never match with anybody, but at least I know that I'm on there. Um, and that's enough for me. And if I get the call, then I will be more than happy. So, yeah, could you please like and share this video? And if you watch my first video on DKMS which goes more de uh, into more detail about the whole process and the kit and how you get yourself registered please like and share that one as well because this is incredibly important um incredibly important to me as well because like I say I've got a child with with medical needs so it's something very very close to my heart and it would mean the world to me if you could like and share and go on the website and, you know, if, if you've, you've not got a fear of needles or you feel that that could be something for you, just register as a donor, please. I would be very, very, very grateful. It would mean the world to me. Um, and I'm sure it would mean the world to a lot of people. So, yeah, that's today's video. Um, I shall see you soon. Bye, guys.